Okay, this time I'm going to use the dual trace uh, picoscope. There. Okay, here's my dual trace picoscope. Okay, it's uh, there. The Pico ADC212. It's a 12 bit uh, with 128K. So, same thing. I'm going to set the signal generator to 1 kilohertz. So, this is set to 1 kilohertz. And this is uh, how it looks like. Okay. So the sampling rate, same as my uh, single trace oscilloscope. Okay, sampling rate is 1 millisecond times 1. I'm going to magnify it. So let's freeze it and magnify it. Looks good. This is magnified times 5. That's times 5. Times 5 times 10 times 20 times 50 times 100. Okay looks very smooth okay this time I'm going to increase the frequency to 10 kilohertz 10 kilohertz okay it's uh, there okay Okay, that's almost 10 kilohertz. <coughs> Sine wave. And the, the waveform is now uh, much finer. Okay, same sampling rate, one, milli one millisecond per division times one. Let's freeze it. Okay, Ma let's magnify it to times two, times five, times 10, times 20. Still smooth times 50 times 100 times 200 very smooth okay now this time let's increase it to 100 kilohertz 100 kilohertz okay Okay, that's almost 100 kilohertz. Okay, there's a, that's a reading. Same sampling rate, one, mil, one millisecond per division times one. Let's freeze it. Okay, let's magnify it to times two, times five, times 10, times 20, times 50. Okay, look like the sampling rate is very low, okay? Because the sine wave looks like a triangular wave. Okay? And when we're going to measure the peak between the two sine wave, there. And this. Look like it's, uh, the sampling rate is much there. There, the, the time between the two peak and there and the crest okay the sampling rate is about 5302 nanosecond that's about 5.3 microsecond so I found out that this uh this dual trace has much lower sampling rate it's a sampling rate of only 5 microsecond while my 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 single trace oscilloscope this one has a much higher sampling rate almost a 1 microsecond and this uh the older model older model is only a 5 microsecond okay mm. it's any consider this is only a 100 kilohertz cuz with the picoscope with this uh, newer model, I, we are able to measure it up to 1 megahertz. Okay, let's try to increase it to 1 megahertz. So 1 megahertz. One megahertz.
Okay, that's almost 1 megahertz. Okay, let's try to uh, measure it. There. It's 1 megahertz. Let's freeze it and magnify it. And there's time for 1 times 2 times 5 times 10 times 20 times 50 times 100 let's check the sampling rate same uh, the distance between the two sampling is also five yeah five point five microsecond okay okay that's about it maybe it's a dual trace okay this time let's try to measure it uh let's go back to uh one millisec uh one kilohertz There, that's one kill hertz. Maybe it's a dual trace, so it has a much lower sampling rate. Okay. This, let's try to turn on the dual trace. There. Let's, let's get the signal from the my frequency counter and put it at the B on. And you should be able to monitor the two signal. There, it's a two signal. Uh, there, the red one is the the red one is a trace B, and the blue one is a trace A. Mm, hmm. Okay, let's try to freeze it again. And let's try to expand it. Same. Okay, but if we increase, but if we increase the sampling rate to one microsecond, I'm sure we can we can measure the one, uh, one gigahertz, uh, one megahertz. Okay, let's let's. Let's put it on a uh, one megahertz okay, and measure the frequency, the signal. Okay, let's switch it to okay. That's one megahertz. One megahertz. There, the frequency. The the A, of course, it's uh, zero. Freeze it and sampling. So the sine wave looks like a triangular wave. Okay. It's only five fifty. Okay, this time. Let's increase the sampling rate to one microsecond. There. Let's freeze it and try to magnify it. Magnify it times one, times two, times five. times 10, 20, 50 if you notice it's much smoother very smooth due to the very high resolution let's turn off the the B okay let's turn it off there hmm. 